Hello Troopers, it's Clone Trooper Studios here. Today I have a, another set review. This is Ray's Speeder. This came out only last year with the first wave of Star Wars Force Awakens Lego sets and it came out uh, September. Set number 75099, ages 7 to 12. I forgot to say this. Anyway, let's get you. Let's get into the set review with the minifigures first. So here we have the minifigures. I will get the music up in a minute. So you have an Uncar's Fog and you have Ray in um, her sort of like Jakku sort of outfit even though she has it all the time but there you go. So let's get into the mini fiction. So with Ray she comes with a staff and she comes with this bag that goes all the way around her, which I do like. She comes with printed legs and printed torso on back and on front. She also has this awesome, um, it looks so alike to her actual, um, thing that she has. I forgot what the name this is called. So put in the comments below what this is called. I completely forgot. It's got printing for the um, for the goggles, which I would have liked it to actually come upwards, but oh well. Um, you got the torch there, which is awesome, and she comes with two facial expressions, but she also comes with her hair as well, which is awesome. She has this sort of kind uh, facial expression with. Uh, her eyebrow up a little bit and her face to the side. And then she's got this kind of disgust face, uh, which is, uh, I guess, I don't know. I don't know when that's used. I've got I haven't watched it for like two months and it's coming out next month. Can't wait. Right. Next is the actual set this does have a few playable features so the first one is uh, you can just twist this bit here and it opens the doors on the side which I'll just show you on this side so it opens the doors which is pretty cool you can do it a different way which is just to use your hands and put them in that little bit there if you have big, uh, big enough hands to do that I'm not being anything right so here we have this crate that comes out in the um, video for this uh, set review no for this uh, set it shows Ray on uh, this uh, thing as like a hoverboard or something so yeah and then the crate is actually for um putting the extra studs but i don't really put the extra studs in there because i got a place for studs if you know where that place is now i'm just gonna keep it there you have um you have this sword that comes with it on this side and this like gun I guess and uh, goggles. It would have been great if they actually put a net piece on this. It would look so much awesome like if they just narrowed down the net piece and made it ex exclusive to the set. Like you could just put the net piece there and there. And then just got like a 2x2 two two brick there. And then put it there. It would have been so much easier. But there you go. They didn't decide to do that. So you could get Ray's staff and just put it on there like that. It sticks there nice. And then you can just get Ray. 
and re-fits perfectly on there. But she does look pretty small, but for me, I don't really care because I just use it for the model, really, just for show, really. So I'll just give you a overlook. I will do the studs last, like always. I hope you like this. I made it myself. So with the studs, I'll show you now. There's one. There goes the other. I couldn't really show you that one. So yeah, guys, this that's this set review. I hope you enjoyed the set review, and may the force be with you always. I will see you in the next video. May the force be with you always.